Hey guys, uh, Mr. Raid back here playing the Outer Worlds. Um, I just got back from, what was it? Darn. I remember there's a lot of mar marauders and shit like that, so I think we went to go get the medicine for this one guy, which I believe I've decided to give to her. I don't know anything about you. Game? I've got some time. Do you? What do you do here? Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Okay, so that's what she does. I don't know, because, like, this guy is the one who originally asked me to give him the medicine. But he does look older than everybody here. Oh, sweet merciful law. A marauder's in my domicile. What the fuck? Hmm. Oh, wait. It's just you. You're as killed me with fright. At least I know I ain't hallucinating. Do you need something? Uh... Maybe he is just crazy. Uh, I'm gonna give it to this chick. I've got some time. Yeah, whatever. Thanks. I'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it. Here, something for your trouble. Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together again. Don't want to make a habit of consorting with smuggler types. You know what? That's fair. Somebody deserving. Silas on account of him being out in the cold. Amelia seeing how she's around people all the time. Anybody in the sick room? Alright. Yeah, I guess that's better. Uh, your reputation with the faction has changed. If enemies are hostile, but your reputation isn't kill on sight. God fucking damn it. Let me read. I'm not superhuman. A grave mother. Crown was one of the four people Silas on Euclid. He runs a barbershop in Edgewater. Love of reports of rings for about spoil scout of the mechanical enemy north of the landing pod. <sighs> I suppose that the scout in the name of humility. Uh, or humanity, not humility. I can't read. I, I, uh, this guy. What can I do for you? Could you just give me your shit? Go ahead. Ah, fuck it. You know what? He says he can't pay. Not my problem. I mean, he knew that the fucking fee was coming up too, so... You should have given it to me, you know, like, you should have prepared for it. I don't know. Hopefully this doesn't look bad on me, you know what I mean? Silas! Come here. Grave digging's a fine profession. Always work to be had, and nary a word of complaint out of your clients. That's actually pretty funny. You run into any trouble? Conrad's barbershop is a yawning pit that swallows his every bit. I keep telling him he should cut a few corners, skimp out on the disinfectant. You gotta put the squeeze on Conrad. Find some dirt on him. Maybe check his back room. Well, that's the word, extortion. Been on the tip of my tongue all day. Oh my god. Alright, shit. If fucking Conrad not paying, I guess extortion will do better, right? 
God damn it. This motherfucker. After this, we have to go. I think I have to go kill a robot or something for the general. That'll be interesting. And then we can get on to the electrical plant. Let's see if we can help those guys rather than this guy. <laughs> I don't know. Every decision I've made so far in this game has been like shit for one person. You know what I mean? You have a back room? Where is it? Oh god! Well, I'ma just chill back here. Hello. Ah! God damn it. Close the doors behind you. Ooh, examine. Conrad. Receptionist shot himself. This is bad. Company's going to have to call it for what it is. Description of Spacer's Choice property. Eugene was an asset and somebody has to pay the price. This is going to ruin us so I was thinking that we pawn off his teeth. God damn it. What the fuck? Eugene had a full set of gold teeth. Heirlooms passed down from his family or something. What the shit? You're processing his body, right? Just dig around and pry them out we sell the tea somewhere nice and quiet use these bits to pay his body price and nobody's the wiser what do you think don't write back in fact don't talk to me at all just give me a special signal next time you see me what <laughs> waggle your eyebrows phyllis g oh my god how could they this is a man's teeth after all what the fuck Hello. What can I do for you? I need you to, to not. You know about Eugene? How? You're fuck. You fucking left the letter out for everyone to see. Then you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. More than a few. Those teeth were his personal savings. God. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Looking pretty good now, uh, huh? Are you asking rhetorically? Because if you're being serious... Ugh, gross. Desperate measures, Miss Holcomb. Desperate measures. I'm going to have to ask Silas to dig up those teeth. It's the only way I'm paying my gravesite fees. Yep. I don't care. I'm just here to do this Grave shit. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Eugene was yeah. not a suicide. He put a bullet in his brain, yes, but that's largely a technicality. I was the one who prepared Eugene's body for interment. I discovered symptoms of the plague on his corpse. And I discovered medicine in his pocket. Lots of medicine. Eugene overdosed on Adrena time, which is known to cause psychosis and paranoia as possible side effects. The paranoia drove him to take his own life. Damn. It's a miracle of bureaucracy. If Eugene's death were filed as a suicide, we'd all pay the price for his crime. We can all thank our lucky stars that young Eugene was hopped up on medication and suffered its predictable side effect. I included it all in my official report. I'd like to think I saved Edgewater a great deal of money. We never could have paid the fines associated with a suicide. Goodbye. Well, I gotta say, y'all... Y'all can travel through space and like build new settlements but y'all can't like have a vaccine for a plague are you joking right now that's uh all right <laughs> i don't know i guess this is one of spacer choices not very i bet you these guys don't make a lot of money for spacer's choice so 
they're not really taken care of. That's the type of, at least that's the, that's the, what is it called? That's the vibe I'm given from context clues. Something I can do for you? Uh, yeah, take your fucking money. You run into any trouble? Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. And I'll buy you a drink oh. sometime. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know what you said. Uh, bye. I don't know enough people yet to start a relationship. Spacer's choice are now agreeable. Alright. Look at my guy. He's so fucking cool. Journal. Let's see here. Die, robot. That's what I'll do. I might as well just run around. All these fucking loading screens aren't going to do me any good. Right? It's behind it, right? Yeah, because it would... Right? Maybe running around wasn't a good choice. I thought I heard something. Oh! <gasps> Hello! What are you? I'm not gonna shoot it, don't worry. Oh, you can yell. Oh, you're kind of ugly. That's right. You're you you're small, so you got something going for you. What's this? Combat drone. Oh. Searching for repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. This Unable is who? Comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you wanted me to. B. Take your time. You need help, just give a yell. A, a metaphorical yell. If you yell for reals, you're liable to spook them. Damage to navigation systems detected. Attempting to return to designated repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Um, I think I'll have her fix it. Yep, I see the problem. His nav mod got dislodged. Must have taken a tumble. Just gotta give it a good push and wait for the click. There we go. That was Jeremy a click. Well, new by Spacer's Choice standards, anyhow. His name's Jeremy, by the way. Navigation system okay. operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self-diagnostics. On account of I fixed him. And he's Jeremy on account of his helmet. It's like Jeremy, the officer in True Romantic Tales of the Space Guard. Uh, yeah, what the hell is that? Absolutely. Shirley. I make a point to watch every Tuesday night. Oh, it's a TV show. Be more careful out there, Jeremy. Okay. Well, Jeremy, I'm supposed to kill you, but I think because I fixed you, I'm a good boy. So... I'm gonna leave it like that. He's fine. He's not gonna hurt anybody, so... I just gotta convince this fucking guy. Ooh, maybe I can convince him that he's on our side. <laughs> How do I... I know I, I can put away my guns. Yes! I did it! I remembered a button! Hey! Bring us honor, soldier! I did. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out its headcase? Actually, don't tell me. Rather use my imagination. Yep. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one. And the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer. A weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical heart. Cantina, lavatory, behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. 
You hid your secret Trapping. weapon in the lavatory? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. <laughs> I mean... On the double okay. Side, don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. Yeah, level four, bitches. Skill and perk points available. Um, let's do persuade, intimidate, lay. I got her body for that. She good. She good. Um, let's do some hand or let's do let's do long what uh hello oh that's right that's how i do it they just i just hit it and it does all let's do dialogue oh she gives me like that's cool there we go apply apply yes uh, companion abilities. You when you, blah, 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 blah. you can command your companions to use their special abilities on the enemy you are targeting. Okay. I could get another poke. Where is it? Ability to fast travel. Yes, carrying capacity. Give it. Give it to me. Yes. Ah. Ha, ha, ha. Um, okay, Ludwig revealed that, that he sucked away a secret weapon in Edgewater to be used in the event of a mechanical uprising. He's decided to entrust the weapon to you and to, to you to aid the crusade. The weapon should be in the bathroom of Edgewater's cantina. All right, let's go get that and then we'll figure it out from there, buddies. I love how he didn't even ask, like, he was just like, oh, you killed it? Cool. Not, did you, like, <laughs> like, he didn't even care about my answer. He's just like, it took complete and total trust. Well, at least Jeremy's safe-ish. This thing is crazy looking. Oh shit. Something got you down? Nothing. Just don't want to fall sick. I mean getting sick is a real fucking bummer, so Yeah. Hello? Ah. Oh. I need to compare my shit. Modifications. I don't remember which one has the... I think it's this one that has the shit on it. Yeah, have spears. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I think this one is, like... It does the most DPS, so... I'll keep that. And then I got a spear. Or a trip blade, whatever. Alright. All right, hold up. Compare. All right, so it has a bigger magazine size, but the DPS, it's not that big, much bigger. It, it is a lot bigger actually, wait, is it? No, it's not that much bigger. All right, I'm gonna keep what I have as far as long guns, so. 
That's a big ass mushroom. There, but what? Terro Ray Biological Overview. Patero Ray. That's pretty cool. This place does give me a kind of like a aquarium kind of vibe. Like it's so blue. Holy shit! Yeah, I never. I feel like I never look up enough in games. <gasps> Cha! God damn it! Shut up about your broken leg. Keep running. No, hey, hey! Bring us honor, soldier. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the Hand of the Law. All right. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand bolts in its guts with compliments from old Ludwig. Uh... How do I use it? The workbench right through this door. Attach that unit to your favorite weapon and go forth into glorious battle. Can I move it from I've weapon to weapon? To journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Oh. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. Don't I've worry, I've already done it. Years. Boss said no on account of my gross incompetence with all matters related to security. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. How am I supposed to get There's that? The rub. If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So you can't rip one out of its corpse. You're gonna have to find an intact model somehow. I don't reckon so. Oh, okay. I work with gears and pistons and such. Stuff you can put hands to. Computers and mechanical brains are outside my ken. You know, she names the mechanical she fixes. Calls them Bess and Clancy and so on. Keep a careful eye on her. Could be a sympathizer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, wouldn't, we wouldn't want one of those guys. If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. The fuck is zero G? Zero gravity? You guys drink zero gravity? Could, could you imagine what that would taste like as a drink? Your insides just start floating. All right. So there's a, I guess there's a workbench in here. I almost forgot about that, but I didn't. So kudos to me. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, sir. Thank you. Oh God. Uh, the uh, welcome to the workbench or whatever. The workbench allows you to pair, upgrade, and modify your weapons armor, keeping you combat ready and in tip-top shape. On each screen. Your first select the weapon or armor item that you want to work on, then choose what you want to do with it. Repair it, break it down for parts, modify it with the mod, or tinker to upgrade it. Hold to continue. Okay, alright. I choose this. Okay. Yes. Let's just let's just go for it. Okay, so now I have the I have like electricity in my gun now. So cool.
Okay. Seek out Victor. 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 Vic. What is this? Comes now the power. Stranger in a strange land. I don't like how they're different. Hold on, I gotta make sure that I... Do this right. Okay. Well, what the fuck is in here? I have a feeling I know whose side I'm gonna be on and it's not Spader's <laughs> choice. So I just wanna make sure that I have my information right and I'm not just gonna go fucking divert the power like a dumbass and be like, oh, I just missed my opportunity, now I gotta replay it. That would be, I would not like that. <laughs> All right, hello. Okay, whoever I'm looking for is in this, this fucking place, Jesus. Weird in here. It's too clean. Yeah, looks like a cathedral to me. Hello. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider, fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. That is or one hell of a Vicar mouthful. Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Okay. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. Who are you? I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling. This season's toss ball predictions. The quickest way out of town. What? I thought you would talk to him. Oh, you were uh, okay. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb. Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you Oops, I put her on the spot. In single words and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? I'm so sorry, Parati. I I did not mean you. you uh, Oops. Cut off the power of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Uh, what do you think of this group? They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't be the one to ask, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm smart. <laughs> Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Is that even possible? Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Bitch, I don't think anywhere on this planet is safe. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. Text? I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. All right. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Okay, but like, why, why, why would you be after that? 
a handsome sum. Why would you Just be after that? Just the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. Mmm, sounds like I should put it directly into the, uh, the public, sir. Uh, you'll need to it's tell me more about it. Journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? I'm probably not it's for not you. Only a beautiful relic of a bygone time. It's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value. Should they ever read it? I'll look for it. Thank you. Don't know if I'll give it to you, but I'll look for it. Always find me here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably won't be be seeing you again though. I just like straight up still it, give it to like <laughs> I don't know Conrad or some shit, and then he just like just <laughs> goes insane. Oh my god.